So the functional G deficiency in an organ will lead to retention or stagnation of fluids and stool and poor digestion and incontinence. So yan po yung functional G deficiency. Whereas pag deficiency naman of warm yang would cause coldness. Yin also includes blood and fluid. The term blood refers not only to red blood itself, but also to the nutrition in general. In nutritional deficiency, this could lead to weakness, tiredness, and poor endurance, paleness, and coldness. So pag uh, deficient yung blood, ito po yung mga nangyayari. Sa young function of the spleen, uh, ito, uh, this one transforms and transport food chi. So, sa kabila naman, blood, which is yin, and represent the yin part of the spleen. The continued lack of nutrition fails to nourish the functional chi of the organs. This means that a deficiency in the blood naturally leads to deficient Chi. So, ibig sabihin, deficient yung blood, magkakaroon din ng deficiency ng chi. But when the yin is deficient, there can be dryness without nutritional deficiency. So, pag yung yin, yung fluid part, ang deficient, there could be a presence of dryness, pero hindi apektado yung nutrition. This could lead to a heat symptom as yin is unable to control the yang and hyperactivity of organs. So pag yin deficient, there is a presence of heat. So may mga heat symptoms po siya. Example, a woman secretes less female hormones during menopause. So pag menopause na po, less na po yung hormones na naproproduce one could say that she is therefore less feminine or less yin. And this causes general dryness in her body. So uh, since there is a, a yin deficiency, um, this result to having a heat in the body, kaya nagkakaroon ng dryness. At the same time, she also suffers from heat symptoms so yung mga heat symptoms niya, meron siyang hot flashes, uh, pwede magkaroon ng tachycardia, merong sleeplessness, and restlessness. So blood or nutritional deficiency in an organ may cause shrinkage, weakness, and tiredness, thus slowing the normal functional energy. Whereas a deficiency in yin, would cause dryness and consequent heat symptoms. So magkaiba po yung uh, deficiency ng yin, blood and nutritional deficiency. All the energy in us in nature and all things around us are dominated by yin and yang. So we cannot understand the changes. So wait. But yin and yang are always together and, and are always relating to each other and always reacting to the changes in each other. So, lagi silang nagbabalanse. We must not forget that it is this action and reaction that causes changes in and around us. Therefore, whenever we treat the yin, we should treat the yang as well. So, pag pag trinit natin yung yin, treat din yung yang para mabalanse. When we treat a yang disease, we must take the yin into consideration too. Okay? So, yin and yang, itong symbol. The symbol is a visual depiction of the intertwined duality of all things in nature. So, nagbabalanse po siya yung yin and yang. Yin and Yang, the Asian symbol of harmony, remind us that light is a balancing act 
and most fulfilling when we learn to embrace its dualities. Yung ups and down, good times and bad, joy and challenges. So yan po yung yin and yang. 